Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics in the topic of slope stability. So the problem is find the factor of safety of the infinite slope. So the slope is infinite. Is it equal to 5 meter? So that is height of slope is 5 meter. So then uh, having a slope of 25 degree. Okay, so the slope angle is 25 degree is made of coercive soil. So the soil is coercive. Then the soil made of clay having the C equal to coercion equal to 13 kilometer, sorry, 30 kilometer per meter square. Then phi angle of internal friction is 20 degree. Then E Y ratio is 0 0.65 and uh, specific gravity is 2.7. So we have to find out the factor of safety under three conditions. So first one is soil is dry. Then second one is the seepage pressure parallel to the surface of the slope. Then the soil is submerged. Okay. So first is a given values. So given C equal to 30 kilonewton per meter square. Then phi angle of internal friction is 20 degree. Then uh, slope beta equal to so, beta is a uh, surface slope is 25 degree, then Z equal to 5 meter, then E equal to 0 0.65, then G equal to specific gravity is 2.7, okay. So, these are all the given values. So, we have to find out the factor of safety, okay. So, first condition, so the soil is dry, okay. So, uh, the unit weight will be gamma D. So, the dry unit weight. So, the formula is G, G into gamma W divided by 1 plus E. Okay. So, we can substitute all the values over here. G is 2.7 into gamma W is 9.81 divided by 1 plus E is 0 0.65. Okay. So, solving this we got the value of 16.05 kilonewton per meter cube. Okay. So, for the dry soil, so the factor of safety, the formula is uh, F equal to C plus gamma into Z cos square beta into tan phi divided by gamma into Z cos beta into sin beta. Okay, so this is a formula we can use for find out the factor of safety when the soil is dry. Okay, so if case uh, the soil is submerged, so we can use the uh, gamma submerged over here. Okay. So, next uh, we can substitute all the values over here. So, 30 plus gamma value is 16.05 into z value is 5, then cos beta. So, cos square beta is uh, 25 degree into tan 25, sorry, tan 20 degree. Okay, so 5 is 20 degree divided by, so again the gamma value is 16.05 into z value is 5 into cos beta. So, cos 25 degree into sin 25 degree. Okay. So, solving this we got the value of 1.76. So, the factor of safety when the soil is dry the value will be 1.76. Okay. So, next thing is uh, when the seepage pressure acting uh, in the parallel to the slope. So now we can use the gamma dash and as well as gamma saturation. So gamma dash is uh, G minus 1 into gamma W divided by 1 plus E. So we know the formula. So now we can substitute all the values. So 2.7 minus 1 into 9.81 divided by 1 plus E is 0 0.65. Okay. Solving this we got the value of 10.11 kiloton per meter cube. Okay, so gamma saturation uh, the formula will be gamma saturation equal to G plus E into gamma W divided by 1 plus E. Okay, here S equal to 1. Okay, so here the formula is S. So S equal to 1. So we can substitute uh, G plus E into gamma W divided by 1 plus E. Okay, so now we can substitute all the values over here. So, the values will be 2.7 plus 0 0.65 into 9.81 divided by 1 plus 0 0.65. Okay, solving this we got a value of 19.92 kilonewton per meter cube. Okay, so now we can substitute uh, all the values in the formula of factor of safety. So, the formula will be C plus gamma dash into uh, Z into cos square beta into tan phi divided by gamma saturation into h into cos beta into sin 
beta okay so the only difference when the soil is dry and submerged and seepage so we can use the gamma saturation gamma d and gamma z values okay so now we can substitute all the values over here so 30 plus the gamma dash value is uh, 10 point 11 into z values again 5 into cos square beta value is 25 into tan 20 okay so divided by gamma saturation value is uh, we found out 19.92 into z value so that is z or h so z equal to 5 into cos beta is 25 into sin 25 okay so solving this we got the value of uh, 1.18 okay so factor of safety is 1.18 so next thing is third condition when the soil is submerged so the factor of safety is the formula c plus gamma z in sorry gamma dash into z into cos square beta into tan phi divided by here also we can use the gamma dash into z or h into cos beta into sin beta okay so now we can substitute all the values over here so 30 plus 10.11 into 5 into cos square beta so cos square 25 into tan 20 okay so the 5 value is 20 divided by same 10.11 into 5 into cos sorry cos 25 degree into sin 25 degree okay solving this we got the value of factor of safety is 2.33 okay so when the soil is submerged the factor of safety is 2.33 okay so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you